Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 4th. Uh, this week, we're going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this new moon in Aries. It says it's time to take action. You also have this fixed moon. It says hold your vision. So it's time to take action on your vision, apparently, uh, with this reading. I, a lot of people have had stuff about hold your vision. <laughs> so it you know, it could just be a time where you know the collective needs to make sure that they are holding their vision for their future life or whatever you're trying to create. And you know, if you do that, you will be more likely to accomplish it, whatever it is and uh, you know also a lot of people have had stuff about taking action and you have a lot of wands cards in this reading already and you know wands cards can definitely represent taking action in a new direction or kind of like making something happen and so obviously that would be the best thing for you but you have the king of pentacles the page of wands and the knight of pentacles the i feel really good about the king of pentacles in your reading i kind of feel that some of you uh, could be improving your finances and you know, i just feel gen very general energy with this king of pentacles i feel like he's saying you could be improving your finances or making more money or it's like you're doing things to make more money I also feel that some of you could have recently uh, gotten a new job or like a new position, and that could also be why you're making more money. So I just, in general, I feel very general and very good about the King of Pentacles. I feel like you feel much more stable to me, much like you're in a better place. Uh, you have the Page of Wands, and the Page of Wands is about following your enthusiasm and going on adventure, which you're, uh, you know, a Sagittarius, so you should be very used to going on adventures, or you probably love going on uh, new adventures. We also go up to the Two of Wands from the Page of Wands, and the Two of Wands is all about, you know, exploring something new, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but the Page of Wands is really about learning something new. He has this tiny little feather in his cap here, and the feather in the cap uh, kind of represents, is like a saying, you know, we say that if someone knows a lot about something, or if they're educated on something, they have like a feather in their cap, but his is kind of small. If we look at the Fool card, the Fool has a feather that's like this long in his cap, and so the Page of Wands kind of represents the beginning of a journey where you are getting a feather in your cap. You're like learning something new or um, you're developing a new skill or you're becoming more successful because of a skill. And I feel I feel that for a lot of you with this card. You also have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles can represent making progress and like forward movement. Uh, normally he represents no movement, but again, I feel pretty good about this Knight of Pentacles in your reading. And just based off of, you know, everything else that's coming up here, like you have the Six of Wands, you have the Magician, the Three of Wands, uh, the Two of Wands. These are all great cards of making progress or moving forward. So I feel a lot of you maybe think you're coming off of a period of time where things have been slow or haven't been moving forward. And now it's like things are kind of like finally moving forward is what this reading is saying to me. So I really uh, like this for you here, Sag. But uh, let's see. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> uh, let's see what is going on for you. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have the Four Swords. Four Swords can represent resting, relaxing, recovering, or healing. And a lot of you, like I said, I feel like you're kind of, I, I kind of said this on the King of Pentacles. I just feel that you're getting into a good place. Like even if you're not, I feel like you are getting to a good place or you're about to be in a much better place where you can rest, relax, recover, which is a good thing. With the Page of Wands, you have the Knight of Cups. Uh, Knight of Cups can be a knight in shining armor, uh, so this could be love, but the Knight of Cups can also be your dream and or your vision. You know, he is normally looking into that cup and he is imagining his future and he's standing in the desert, but he has this water flowing in front of him. The thing with the King of Pe Cups is that all he has to do is plant seeds in front of that water and they will grow. So I feel for a lot of you, it's definitely would be a good time for you to like plant some seeds uh, towards your vision or whatever you're trying to create because they will grow with the Knight of Cups. With the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Judgment card, which you have twice. I haven't had a reading like this in a long time, but you, uh, where, or, you know, uh, what, what I'm trying to say is like a week like this. A lot of people this week have had repeating cards, which is pretty unusual. It really doesn't happen that often. And repeating cards to me are kind of like confirmation from the universe. They also say that you're on the right path. But the judgment card would represent kind of waking up to your purpose or uh, discovering a new purpose that you're making progress on, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles and also the Six of Wands showing up in the next row. Uh, this, the Six of Wands is being celebrated or having a victory uh, based off of something that you're doing. So I feel like there definitely could be some sort of victory uh, coming in for you with the judgment card. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have a snake spirit. It says time to heal. You also have a grasshopper. It says take the leap of faith. It's kind of funny that I said 
you know, the fool, because the fool is all about taking a leap of faith. And there's definitely something that I feel you're taking a leap of faith on. Four swords, obviously, it's a great time to heal, but the grasshopper is also considered very lucky. And so there could be kind of like a lucky opportunity coming in for you or taking a leap of faith in a new direction uh, could be the thing that increases your luck. And that's really the message that I'm getting off of the grasshopper is that putting yourself in a new situation or uh, taking advantage of new opportunities is going to make you lucky. Uh, you have the two of wands, the six of wands, and the king of wands. The two of wands is needing to get out into the world. The story of this card is that he's standing at the top of his castle and he's looking at things from a very limited perspective. Uh, he's also staying stuck in a comfort zone, but he has the whole world in his hands. And so he needs to get out into the world uh, to make progress towards his goal, wish, or dream. You know, the thing about the two wands, it's not really a bad card. It's a card of taking the lead. It's a card of progress. Uh, you know, it can be a card of foresight, kind of like the three of wands is. But he, um, you know, he still needs to, you know, he thinks that he knows everything. And because he rushed to a finish line, so he thinks there's nothing more or nothing new for him to experience. But he needs to realize that life is full of experiences that he could have. And so the two wands sometimes I think says variety is the spice of life. You need to get out and experience new things. Uh, you have the six of wands. Six of wands can be a card of success or victory. I do feel like there could be like a big victory coming in for you or a big win. Um, again, I, part of me feels this is because maybe you just feel that you're in a better place, like we said with the King of Pentacles. But this guy is being celebrated for what he has done. And, you know, he's earned his right to be on this horse. This horse is his high horse, and he's earned his right to be up there because he's been through a battle. You know, the story of this card is that this guy has been to battle, and now he's coming back and being celebrated as a winner, but he's been through a lot of challenges, and, you know, he's had to face a lot of difficulties in, on his journey, but now he's finally being celebrated. The other thing that's popping into my head is the white horses and the tarot can represent support or getting support from people in your life or, you know, uh, just certain situations. And so I feel for a lot of you that asking for support or getting support from supportive people would be a good idea. Uh, you have the King of Wands. The King of Wands could be you uh, showing up here, even though, you know, the King of Wands normally is Aries, but still, I, I think that the King of Wands could just be you showing up in this reading and showing up in a strong position because you are a fire sign. Uh, but it is Aries and you have that new moon in Aries, which says take, it's time to take action. The King of Wands definitely takes action on things. He's very bold and confident and assertive, and he really goes for what he wants. So if there's something you're trying to create or have in your life, I feel like going really, really going for it is what the King of Wands is encouraging you to do to really make something happen. And if you do that, you will be successful. With the two of wands, you have the nine of swords. Yeah, like uh, nine of swords is fearing repeating a cycle. So the two of wands can say that you are thinking that if you start something new, that it's just going to happen, you know, things are going to go exactly how they went the last time. And the Knight of Swords says you need to get out of your head and realize that things don't are not always going to go how you think they're going to go. So, you know, the not, I, I just feel this is more of like a fear that you're going to repeat a mistake, you know, if you try something again. But I feel like that two, of so two of Wands, sorry, is kind of encouraging you to take another chance. You know, it's almost like it is almost like this is a second chance reading. You even have the judgment card at the end. And the judgment card can represent an, a second chance or like a rebirth, but it can say that you're trying something again. So I think that this is saying you're getting an opportunity to try something again. Can't make this up. With the six of wands, you have the two of swords. I literally almost just said the two of swords on that two of wands. So I feel for a lot of you, that definitely finding other ways of doing things, something is not going to go how you think is really what I feel. You go two of swords to the eight of swords uh, right here, going this way. And so the two of swords, she is thinking this or that. She is thinking that something that she's about to do is going to go this way or that way. But she has this new island behind her. And that new island behind her kind of represents a third place or a third place solution or a different way of doing things. So I feel like you need to realize that um, things are not necessarily going to go how you think. Things might go better than you think, or things might turn out completely different. So if you are kind of starting over, or if you feel like you're starting something again, things might not go according to plan. But again, it actually kind of looks like that's a good thing. It might turn out better than you think. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Three of Wands again. So you have all these repeating cards here. You have the Three of Wands twice. The, the King of Wands, he is the visionary of the kings. He kind of has visionary ideas. And the Three of Wands is kind of a card of being a visionary. You know, it's a card of foresight or seeing the future. And so the two things kind of play very well together. 
And if you have any uh, futuristic ideas or if you're having any unique ideas, I feel like you need to follow those ideas. Uh, next in the area, messages from your future self, you have this reconnect card and this strength card. So I feel like you need to reconnect with your inner strength. Like the, I, I also think that you need to think about the reason you're doing something, you know? And I, I think if you think about that, it will ma motivate you to be more successful. Uh, you know, for the past few months, I've been working on a really big project behind the scenes. And, um, you know, it, it, it's just it's been a grind, right? Um, but, you know, I always remind myself that number one, once it's done, it's going to be done. So it's one of those projects where I don't have to keep working on it after it's done, right? So that's like one thing I tell myself. The other thing I tell myself is that it's probably going to be worth it to do what I'm doing. So yeah, it's been a little bit of a grind. It's been a challenge, you know, and all that other stuff, but it's worth it. And, you know, again, and I only have to do it once. <laughs> That's the other thing. It's like, yeah, I'm doing a lot of hard, probably too much work right now, but at the same time, it'll be worth it in, you know, hopefully soon. So I feel like that's what this is trying to say is that you need to remind yourself. And again, that's, I, I was just giving you an example of how I remind myself of like why I'm doing something. And so I think rem doing that, like reminding yourself why you set out to accomplish something or do something in the first place will really help put it into perspective and will probably motivate you. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Eight of Swords is about setting yourself free and removing restriction. So I feel for a lot of you that you need to remove the, res the restrictions or the things that are holding you back in life with the Eight of Swords, and you need to set yourself free. So she's only looking at things, again, from a limited perspective, uh, no perspective really, because she is blindfolded, but she could easily set herself free and remove herself from the situation. And that's what I feel like you need to do is set yourself free. You have the Nine of Wands. Again, I feel like the Nine of Wands is encouraging you to try again. I, I do kind of feel like this is a second chance reading. You know, if it's love, for example, I don't think it's like the same past person. I think it's like new love, for example. If it's business, same thing. I think it's like something new that you're doing, but you're just trying again. And the Nine of Wands reminds us to not give up. You know, the Nine of Wands is a card of perseverance and overcoming the obstacles. And again, another great thing to do with the Nine of Wands is to remind yourself why you're doing it in the first place. So again, putting things into perspective could be very helpful with this card. Uh, the Nine of Wands, by the way, um, the Nine of Wands is also an amazing solution to the Eight of Swords. The Nine of Wands is my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So with the Nine of Wands, we have to really... Um, you know, we really have to try multiple things or different ways of doing things to be successful with the Nine of Wands energy. Uh, you have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands card of expansion and growth. So the Three of Wands is a card of needing to expand out into the universe. You know, we still have Jupiter in your opposite sign, Gemini, until June 25th of 2025. So you still have you know, even though Jupiter is not in your sign, even when it's in your opposite sign, it's still, you know, it's such a good planet that it really benefits you. So I would say even though it's in your opposite sign, I think it could be a great time of expansion and growth or, um, you know, doing things that cause you to grow. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, really good opportunity coming in for you. Again, this is a second chance opportunity, I feel. Uh, probably something you're where you're worried about repeating a mistake with that Nine of Swords. But I feel like the Judgment card is really saying that you should accept this big opportunity that's being presented to you. I also, again, I feel pretty good for, with that King of Pentacles because, again, that King of Pentacles was saying to me that some of you could be getting a new position or a new job or you could be starting something new, uh, which would be great. With the Nine of Wands, you have the King of Cups. Uh, this could be love for some of you. Uh, you know, again, you have the Knight of Cups and King of Cups. This would be an, a very emotionally available, emotionally secure person. So if you're looking for love, this looks pretty good. And with the um, and with the Three of Wands, you have another repeating card. I'm just going to put it right here. You, you, these two cards repeat themselves right next to each other. <laughs> so the repeating cards are really encouraging you to stay motivated. Uh, they also are saying that whatever you're looking at expanding towards, like if you're thinking about doing something expansive with the King of Wands and the Three of Wands twice right next to each other, uh, then I would go and do it. The King of Wands says you really have to go for it. With the King of Wands, we 100% have to be committed to whatever we're about to do. And we also need to be bold, assertive, confident, we really need to go for something with the King of Wands. And if we really go for it, we will be successful. But again, if we just dip our toes in the water, which I feel like I've said to you before here, Sagittarius, 
you know, then it's not going to be successful. So we really have to be willing to make that full commitment. I also, I, again, I do feel like you could be attracting something with a person where there's like a lot of desire or there's just a lot of attraction. It could be any sign, you know, they're showing up as a water sign here, but I just don't think it's a water sign. It could, you know, it could be a person who has water in their chart or, you know, again, you're all different. So it could be a water sign for some of you, but um, I would say like earth and fire stand out to me more in this reading. So it could be like an earth sign or, or, or a fire sign that you're attracting. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this let it go card. It says, let go of all that no longer serves you. Yes, judgment. We'll talk about that in a minute. You have this card that says, let it come forth. Give yourself permission to feel it. Yeah, maybe you need to feel as if you already are successful with whatever you're going for here, Sagittarius. And that could be like the best thing for you. Uh, you have the judgment card, the four of pentacles and the magician. The judgment card is kind of like being called to something greater, especially in the good stuff. And this, you know, this card, the coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. And so these people have to step into their new life. You know, that's the whole point of the card is that they're stepping into something new. And I think that would be very helpful for you is like stepping into a new opportunity or new beginning or a fresh start. And that's exactly what I would do. Like I said, with this card, I think it would be very helpful. Uh, I also feel that you're being called to give something a second chance. But again, it's not the same opportunity. So I think the second chance here is something similar. You know, it's a, if it's love, it's not a past person. I think it's a new person, but you're giving love a second chance. If it's business, same thing. It's not like an old job. I think it's probably something new that's maybe a little bit different. Uh, but it's like you're giving something a second chance here. And, you know, I've, I, I pretty much felt that this entire reading. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles. I feel really good about the Four of Pentacles in the good stuff. Normally, I don't really like the Four of Pentacles, but in the good stuff, it would say that you're stabilizing your finances. But I also feel like you're getting back to your oh, like adventurous self. You know, the Four of Pentacles, he is not adventurous. He is holding on to his current position. But in the good stuff, I feel this is saying that you're more, you're in a position where you are more willing to try new things or to do things differently, or maybe you're just getting to a place where you're more willing to explore. And I think all of that would be amazing with this Four of Pentacles energy. Uh, you have the Magician. And again, the Magician can represent you manifesting something new or creating something new in your life. Uh, the Magician is about creating a new reality. And it's about having, you know, kind of like having a fresh start or a new start. So it, that's pretty much all I get off the Magician. I think you're just having a fresh start. With the Judgment card, you have the Two of Wands. Again, this is crazy. Uh, again, this this normally does not happen. Again, uh, repeating cards do not come up all that often. And you have th these two repeating. So again, just more confirmation for your path. This would really encourage you to step out into the unknown. You know, this would really encourage you to do something unique or different with your life. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, you have the Temperance card, uh, which is you and... For some reason, I thought you had the temperance card twice. No, you have the judgment card twice, though. But temperance is Sagittarius. And whenever you show up as yourself, this puts you in a position of power and strength, really allows you to get what you want from the reading. So I feel that there could be a lot of success coming in for you with the temperance card. Uh, I also feel that for a lot of you... Um, this could be saying that your your like hard work is paying off is kind of what I'm getting. Temperance is a card of patience, but it's kind of saying to me that you have been patient and now you're getting a result on based off of whatever you've been patient towards. With the magician, you have the chariot. Yes, definitely a victory coming in for you or a big win. Uh, I forgot that I always pull the card that the magician is pointing to. We're gonna say it's this one right here, and this card says adjustments are required. Yes, uh, I think that no, no matter what, this is true for everyone on Earth right now. If you're setting out to do something, like the first and the second way that you try to do something, it's probably not gonna work. So we just have to be willing to make changes, and and don't let that thing make make you think that you're failing. You know, if you're working on a project or a relationship. It's like you might want things to go a certain way, but you know, really, if, as long as you make an adjustment and it continues to work, then keep going. You know, I, I think this card is really just we're, we're in a time of innovation. We have Pluto going into Aquarius and on the 19th of November. So, you know, how we think something is going to go, it's probably not. And, but as long as we stay flexible, we can still make it work. And, you know, I think that's what that card is saying. Uh, you have this drama card. I would avoid the drama for sure. We have Mars going retrograde in Leo at the end of the year. I I, I always say Mar as we get closer to to a Mars retrograde, you know, I would avoid drama at all costs. Literally, what Mars retrograde is. So I would just avoid drama. Period. <laughs> Uh, you have this fulfillment card. I do feel there's fulfillment coming in for you. Uh, this card is uh, Saturn and Sagittarius, and it's all about going on an adventure to find fulfillment. So I think that you know any adventures you go on will bring fulfillment. 
you have this restlessness card. I think people want change, and the restlessness card just says if you're feeling restless, you know, go do something. You know, I think restlessness can be a very destructive energy, but as long as you're channeling the energy into something, I think you'll be perfectly fine. Uh, next, you have this flirtation card. I do feel like there could be a new person coming in for you. It's not like a very strong energy in the reading, but it's here. So, you know, maybe you're just not really focused on love at this exact moment, but, you know, this could be flirtation with a person that turns into something in the future. So for those of you that want love, there you go. Uh, and here you go. You have this flattery card as well. Um, very similar. And, you know, I always say that these two faces are facing together, right? So maybe your last connection where like you two couldn't see eye to eye, and now you're forming a connection with a person where you see eye to eye with a person, or maybe you just have similar goals or ideas in life. But uh, this is a really good reading, definitely a second chance reading as well. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.